Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, what's going on up late Northwest? How you guys feeling? You guys good? There you go. Oh, man. It's been a big year for me, guys. I uh, just got married last month. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, thank you. To a white woman, uh, so now I don't need my mom to co-sign on a loan, so it's been a big year for me. Yes, that's right. Making advances in life. Oh, it's great, though. I love everything about this woman, even her mother. Her mother is goofy, right? I get it. She's trying to bridge a gap, connect on a whole different level. But here's the thing. For my wedding present, I kid you not, she got me an Obama Christmas ornament. <laughs> Probably the most racist thing I've ever seen in my life. I kid you not, man. And here's the thing. You have to be very subtle when calling somebody out on racism. You can't just come out and say it. But I did, man, and her mother's a huge smoker, real raspy voice, right? I was like, Sue, that was the most hurtful gift I've ever seen in my life. Are you racist? Stopped me dead in my tracks. She was like, me racist, Manny. Me racist. There is no way I could be racist. I'm from Tacoma. I was like, what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> I'm a member of Oprah's book club. I was like, okay, you're stretching now. Right? And then she was like, you know the number one reason why I can't be racist, Manny? Because my lungs are black. I was like, get the hell out of here, man. Oh, love her to death. Love her to death, though. She's amazing. She's amazing. The cool thing, the craziest thing about getting married is that everybody's asking me now, when are you going to have kids? I'm like, slow down. I barely wanted to get married, right? But I think I'm gonna be an okay dad, just based on the way I interact with my nieces and nephews. I actually got to take my nieces and nephews to Comic-Con this year. Anybody been to Comic-Con? Yeah. Oh my gosh. For those of you who haven't been to Comic-Con, make sure you check it out. It's all your favorite superheroes, uh, but everybody's out of shape. There's Fat Batman, <laughs> right? I swear to God, Fat Superman, Wonder Woman's pregnant for some reason. Go check it out, it's crazy, it's fun, right? The cool thing is I have a little seven-year-old niece who got super amped up about it, right? Trying to do an embrace. Uh, who she is as a young black woman. I'm like, baby, you want to go as like Storm from the X-Men? She's amazing. She was like, no, Uncle Manny, I want to go as no damn Storm from no X-Men. I was like, that's a lot of attitude for that statement, but I'm going to let you go ahead and finish what you had to say. I was like, well, how about like Tiana from Princess and the Frog? She's amazing. She was like, Uncle Manny, I want to go as Elsa from Frozen. I was like, this is going to be adorable, right? She looked amazing. She had her little blue dress on, blonde wig. All the adults are coming up to her. They're like, oh my God. She is the most adorable Beyonce we've ever seen in our lives. I was like, what the? <laughs> this man is the same. Oh. <laughs> the reason I tell you this story is because I actually got to take my nephew, Trey, who's actually autistic, 13 years old. I love this kid. He's my heart and soul, man. Uh, I love this kid, man. He's so cool. Actually, I had to watch him a week prior to Comic-Con. I had to take him grocery shopping with me, right? We're in the frozen food section, and out of nowhere, he rips off his shirt like the Incredible Hulk. I was like, oh, my God, dude, that was amazing. I was like, who are you, little buddy? The Incredible Hulk? He was like, no, Uncle Manny, I'm Magic Mike. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> you guys have been great. Thank you so much. I'm Blake Northwest.